Today, I put one legend on every NBA team. Starting off with the Philadelphia 76ers, we've got Dr. J. The Sixers have needed some wing play for a while now, and they're gonna get that with Julius Irving. The Milwaukee Bucks, they're going to add Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I know that there was probably a better positional fit, but it's Kareem, he's a 99. Michael Jordan is back in Chicago. LeBron James is in Cleveland, perfectly filling the hole at small forward. Bob Cousy is back in Boston because I thought they could have used a point guard. The Clippers, they get Chris Paul on the squad to be a floor general, have Russ in a six-man role. Next up for the Grizzlies, we got Mark Gasol. He fills in pretty perfectly at the center spot. The Atlanta Hawks get Dominique Wilkins, a dominant wing player is going to attack the rim for their squad. The Heat get Dwayne Wade. I didn't want to put Braun twice, so I felt like D. Wade, you know, he was a huge part of the Heat's championship, so had to have him in here. The Hornets get Glenn Rice, get ready for the draft lottery again. The Utah Jazz get John Stockton. Sacramento gets Mitch Richmond. The New York Knicks see Patrick Ewing returning to the squad. Kobe is in LA playing with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Tracy McGrady is back with the Orlando Magic. It was only right that T-Mac was on the squad. The Dallas Mavericks get Dirk, another dominant offensive player next to Kyrie and Luka. The Nets get Kevin Durant back on the squad. A dominant wing player is going to be able to score on the wing with Mikhail Bridges. The Denver Nuggets get David Thompson. The two was their worst spot and he really helps there. The Pacers see PG return. The Pelicans get Chris Paul. So I guess we did have a repeat here with two Chris Pauls. The Pistons have Isaiah Thomas. The Toronto Raptors see Vince Sanity back on the squad. Hakeem's in Houston and Bro Gilbert Arenas was flaming Hakeem today on Twitter. The Spurs see Wemby and Tim Duncan playing together in the front court. Steve Nash is in Phoenix to run some point guard, be a facilitator for their squad. The Thunder see Russ return. It's only right, man. When I think of OKC, I think of Russell Westbrook, so we had to have him in his prime on the Thunder. The Minnesota Timberwolves have Kevin Garnett. Honestly, if you're a T-Wolves fan, there just weren't a ton of legends. I know he's another big on the squad, but there just wasn't much I could do. Bill Walton is on the Blazers. The Warriors get Wilt Chamberlain and Elvin Hayes is on the Washington Wizards. So that's it for all the legends. Let's jump straight to the end of the season where Wilt Chamberlain is putting up video game numbers in the video game, winning MVP. When Binyama is Rookie of the Year. Chris Paul, six man, Patrick Ewing, DPOI, B-Ball, Paul, most improved, and Dirk was the clutch player of the year. Also, real quick, if you're enjoying the video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Anyway, let's continue on. Bron, Bron, Bill Walton, Dirk, and Ja Moran, I guess, are on the All-NBA First team. I mean, shout out to Ja, but making the first team with all these legends in the league, that's kind of crazy. Second team, we got Jokic, we got Luka, we got KG, we got Elvin Hayes, and Dwayne Wade on the third team. There's the man, the myth, the legend, Russell Westbrook, Tracy McGrady, Trey Young, Giannis, and Michael Jordan. MJ making the All-NBA third team with Trey Young. Man, that's kind of crazy. Patrick Ewing makes the All-Defensive first team. Shout out to Patrick Ewing. He got dunked on by Scottie Pippen that one time, though. That was one of the craziest dunks, man, because Scotty was, like, pointing at him after. So disrespectful. Here's the All-Defensive second team. I saw Tim Duncan on there playing alongside Wemby but it looks like they weren't too good because I don't see them in the playoffs here. But speaking of the playoffs, let's check out the standings. Let's see where everybody's at going into these playoffs. you got the Golden State Warriors at number one. Dallas is number two. The Grizzlies sit at three. And the Mavs traded for Russ, so that, that's kind of funny. Memphis with Marc Gasol makes the third seed. And the Rockets with Akeem Olajuwon. Bro, Gilbert Arenas was roasting Hakeem's like footwork and stuff, bro. Oh my goodness, it was hilarious. The Lakers are the sixth seed here with Kobe, Braun, and AD. Honestly, expected them to do better. The Suns have two KDs? I know it didn't start off like this. How did this happen? Oh, okay. Let, let's go over to trades. They traded Devin Booker for Kevin Durant. I have never seen... A, a CPU trade like this ever before in 2K. If you all have ever seen anything like that before, let me know in the comment section. That is one of the craziest
craziest CPU trades I have ever seen. And a double KD duo? That, that's ridiculous. The Clippers didn't make it into the playoffs. Neither did the Pels or the Utah Jazz. I just can't get over that Kevin Durant thing. Y'all gotta let me know in the comment section. Maybe that's a new thing in 2K24. Seeing crazy trades like that. Maybe because there's all this talent in the league. Shout out to Bob Cousy leading the Celtics to the one seed. Bron, my glorious king, leads the Cavs to the two seed. Dr. J, he leads the Sixers to the three seed. But I feel like it's low-key still Embiid's team. Actually, do some in the playoffs. Then it'll be your team. My bad, my bad. All right, the Atlanta Hawks were fourth. The Milwaukee Bucks were fifth. New York was actually sixth, though that's kind of interesting. MJ, he can't even save Chicago. They're in the seventh spot. Vince Carter, Vince Sanity, he's in the plan with Toronto. The Miami Heat were kind of bad considering they made the finals last year. They had Dwayne Wade and they're still in the plan. I mean, they were in the plan in real life this past season, made it all the way to the finals. There's Paul George. He's also on the 10th seed at Indiana Pacers. The Brooklyn Nets, after trading for Devin Booker, bro, what a crazy trade. I've never seen something like that go down in 2K. I mean, these guys are both like 90, 95 pluses. Just, just wild stuff, man. Like, bro, y'all can't tell me that isn't crazy. It, it looks fake, man. I can't lie. Is this a fake video? Like, oh, I sound like Chris Smoove, but bro, it, it really does look fake. But honestly, I, I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but it, it happened. I might have to do some like experiments with how these trades work this year, though. We might have to have that coming up in a future video. Stay tuned, though. Let's get into the NBA playoffs, man. We've got some game sevens in round number one. We got Memphis and LA going seven. That should be a cool one, of course, because that series definitely got some history to it. I mean, now that Dylan, the villain Brooks, the main character is gone, maybe it's not the same thing anymore, but I feel like these two teams definitely got a little bit of beef. Also, Golden State lost to OKC. Russell Westbrook was probably rocking the baby crazily, and it's going to be the Memphis Grizzlies in game seven, taking down the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron James on only 17 and 10 and the Lakers really disappointed in this video I expected them to potentially be like a finals team but John Morant he's just ridiculous 53 points bro I don't know what's going on in this sim we got one more game seven though this one is between the Raptors and the Boston Celtics surprising to see the Celtics in a game seven against the AC but here we are and it's gonna be a close one with the Toronto Raptors in control but Jason Tatum oh my god is he bodied him one of the floor bro <laughs> <laughs> he just moved Scotty Barnes out the way. Uh, okay. Well, it seems like the Celtics still got a little bit of life in them. And Jacoperto's going to send the legal screen. Dog, what is going on in this video? Jason Tatum has the ball. Subway commercial legend. Trying to get to the basket, bro. Swing the rock. What are you doing? Okay, he made it. That, that was an ugly take, but it worked out. And now, just like that, the Boston Celtics are within a point here. They're going to have to send the Toronto Raptors to the free throw line Vince Carter gonna knock both shots down and the Toronto Raptors are up by three but the Celtics they seem to really be dialed in here especially Jason Tatum so we'll see what he can do Tatum dribbling the ball at least it's not Jalen Brown dribbling the ball he's gonna get the screen beautiful pop by Porzingis but he's gonna miss it and the Toronto Raptors are going to the free throw line it's Dennis Schroeder Dennis the menace let's see if he can knock down these free throws free throw one drops and man it's not looking good for Boston we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here and just like that the Toronto Raptors the eight seeded team have pulled off a big upset Vince Carter with 32 points to eliminate the Boston Celtics so we saw both of our number one seeds in this video go down in round number one w realism by 2k but hey it makes the video more fun we'll take it we got denver and the thunder in round number two we got the raptors and bucks facing off we got the mavericks and memphis taking on one another in round number two and we have cleveland and philadelphia in round two still of course a bunch of legends on these squads so i'm pretty excited to see how the rest of these playoffs pan out it looks like okc is really making some noise here i mean if they could make the conference finals that'd be wild they're going seven with denver all the other series wrapped up fairly quickly but we got to check out this game seven between okc and denver the thunder are down by five here rush jumper uh-oh it's not gonna go in and the denver nuggets are gonna get the rebound all right okc y'all gotta lock in if y'all want to stay alive in these playoffs 
Gotta get a stop here. It's Nikola Jokic in the post. And he gets a three-second violation. The Oklahoma City Thunder will get possession. That's kind of a bailout there. I mean, I guess not. He stood in the paint too long. But anyway, Shea, mean little step back, step through. Ooh, bag work for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And he's going to go ahead and get a bucket. It is a three-point game here. Things are getting crazy. Jamal Murray has the ball. We've seen him have his clutch moments in his career, but he's going to dump it down to Jokic, who just gets the easy layup to go. I mean, that's Nikola Jokic. You can't really stop him a lot of the time. Russell Westbrook has the ball. Russ trying to get to the bucket. Oh, my goodness. Russ, come on, man. I wanted to see you win. I don't have anything against the Nuggets, man, but it would have been cool, you know, see Russ do some crazy stuff. And I mean, he did do some crazy stuff. Look at that stat line. Also, Shea was going crazy, but it wasn't enough. I think him and Russ combined for like 70, though. And just like that, our conference finals matchups are set. The Mavs and the Nuggets facing off. Didn't expect the Mavs to make it this far. I thought the defense would be a problem. And we got the Bucks and the 76ers. Let's see if Dallas can make it all the way to the NBA Finals. Also, that Bucks Sixers matchup looks pretty close right now. Maybe they could go seven. Actually, both of these series are going to go seven. We've got game seven between Milwaukee and Philly, and the Milwaukee Bucks are down by one here. And the, the Philadelphia 76ers are playing hot potato with the basketball. James Harden, though, going to give it to Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid in the post. Embiid defended by Brooke Lopez. What is Embiid cooking? He's going to pass it to P.J. Tucker who misses the layup and it's Kareem with the board bro they got Kareem Brooke Lopez and Giannis on the floor the defense is ridiculous Drew Holiday is also on the court Giannis gonna get the screen from Brooke Lopez get downhill and Joel Embiid is gonna get a goal 10 on the layup it still went in though so Giannis gonna get two points there to put his bucks up by one Sixers are looking for an answer P.J. Tucker has the ball in the post. He's going to pass it out to Tyrese Maxey. Set the screen for him. Maxey, the long two. That, that was a tough two, man. And Maxey's going to go ahead and make it to put his Sixers up by one. We've got a little back and forth started here. Let's see if it can continue. Drew Holiday, he's looking to make a move on James Harden. And Holiday is going to get to the basket and get fouled where he knocks down both free throws. And now the Philadelphia 76ers are down one. So they're just going back and forth here. Tyrese Maxey trying to score again. We just saw that tough mid-range two. And Maxey, it looks like he might take it for himself. He's holding on to it and he's going to get a little blow by, get to the free throw line. So Maxi coming up big in clutch time for the Philadelphia 76ers and he's going to knock down two big free throws and the Sixers are back up by one. Drew Holiday has it. Holiday's going to pass it to Giannis onto the Kumpos, defended by PJ Tucker. Giannis going to fake it a couple times. He's going to pass it back to Drew Holiday and he gets it back. Giannis eventually does it and he's going to pull a three that ends up missing. And the, the Philadelphia 76ers have a chance to score here. Maxi's just going to take it, bro. Maxi is on a burner right now. He just hit a three in the clutch. He scored like eight straight for Philly. He's keeping them alive in this one. I mean, he, he's helping them thrive. They're up by four points here. And now Giannis, he needs one. He's going to work on P.J. Tucker in the post. Bro, get the ball to Kareem. What are you doing, Giannis? Oh, okay, he finished it. I mean, he is Giannis, but like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is on the court. I'd love to see Kareem do something but he hasn't yet. Now the Philadelphia 76ers have it. He had that one rebound, I guess. <laughs> anyway, James Harden has it. Two-point game here. Philadelphia, if they get a bucket, they'd be in a pretty good spot. They're going to give it to Embiid. Embiid the post fade. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with some good post defense. He's going to give the ball to Grayson Allen. And the Milwaukee Bucks could tie it with the two, take the lead with the three, because that's how math works. Giannis trying to get to the basket. He's defended well. He's going to pass it to Kareem, bro. Kareem, do your skyhook, man. We go. The Bucks needed that one. And now the Sixers are going to the free throw line. But don't worry. It's playoff Harden. He misses the free throw. And the second one for Harden is going to drop through. So it's a three-point game. The Milwaukee Bucks get a break there after a missed 
James Harden free throw. Giannis inbounding the ball. Let's see what the Bucks have in store for us here. Can they send this to OT? Drew Holiday has it. Holiday's just going to pop it. Giannis gets the board out to Middleton. Middleton Simmons. He didn't shoot it. Oh my. Bro, bro, bro. What is he doing? He just swung the rock. He was wide open. You're Chris Middleton. You hit threes. You've done that a million times. Bro, bro, bro. There's no way he didn't shoot that. Bro, 2K. 2K. Y'all got to do something about that. I don't know what y'all got to do, but there is no reason that Chris Middleton shouldn't shoot that three-pointer. Oh my goodness, bro. That 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 was so stupid. All right, now we got a game seven between the Nuggets and the Mavericks. Nothing could top what happened in that last game seven. That was some of the dumbest stuff I've ever seen from Chris Middleton, man. What, what was that? All right, our finals are set, though. The Mavericks are going to absolutely destroy the Denver Nuggets here in game seven. Bro, Dirk, what was going on, man? Three for 20 is crazy. He couldn't throw a rock in the ocean. Oh my gosh, 1 for 11 from 3. Our NBA Finals are set though. Mavericks versus Sixers. Game 1 goes to Philly. Game 2 goes to Dallas. Series all tied up at 1 apiece. And the Sixers are going to take a 3-1 lead after taking the next 2 games. But the Mavs bounce back and take Game 5. In Game number 6, the Dallas Mavericks, they aren't done fighting. They're looking to make a 3-1 comeback. Dirk with 47 points, redeeming himself from that awful shooting game. And Luka also had a triple-double. So the Mavericks staying alive. They're looking to pull off this 3-1 comeback. And in Game number 7, they're going to come up short to the Philadelphia 76ers. It was Joel Embiid with 53 points in Game 7 to lead his squad to the dub. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.